The Laminin story begins back in 2015 for me. I was lucky to go to the factory in Modena and the thing that absolutely amazed me was the scale and the machinery. And it was lovely because we were walking through as a group of people and we had to get out of the way for robots and auto vehicles because they were an important part of the running and production of this amazing material. And then I saw it being made um, in sheets three metres by one metre. And I thought, how can we use this? So I brought the idea back to Melbourne and then we were lucky enough to have the opportunity to work on the University of Sydney. And we said, why not? We were lucky enough to be brought on board as the interior design review process to begin with. What we started with was to really look at the context of the site, the surrounding landscape, particularly there was a hundred year old eucalypt tree that sat at the front of the site. The early sandstone, the vegetation on the site and the original joiner shop, that really drove the design idea. stair that was the centre of our design and I might add, I believe, the most Instagrammed image at the University of Sydney, was inspired by the wood shaving of a, a joiner's shop. That's how the idea came to us. And hence the stair uh, was clad in timber as a reference to that wood shaving. We have this amazing atrium space and this five level stair, which was such a huge opportunity, we actually looked at how to almost create it become more convex towards the top so natural light would flow to each of those treads or rises um, along the stair, really to help uplift that experience of travelling up the stair because you were bathed in natural light the whole way through the journey. It was important for us with the focal point of the stair in the centre of the space to have the remaining spaces quite neutral as a background to the stair and to also the colour that we used for wayfinding and defining the uses of the space. Colours which we used was red, blue and green. The red went back to a, a very subtle reference to the sandstone. The green was the reference to the vegetation and the, the very large eucalyptus that was in the main courtyard that was retained on the site. And blue was the reference to business. You know, it is the business school and that meant that our lecture theatres and the main auditoriums were blue because they are leased out to business generally. One of the things that we looked at really early on was how much volume of traffic that we were going to have coming through the university. I think it's up to 10,000 people can actually move through that space within an hour. It was really important that we created a sense of calm. That was through the material choices. So we looked at materials that had um, an inherent sense of peace or calmness in their materiality. Maintenance and well-being was a really important aspect of what drove us to choose the laminum as a product. The University of Sydney's business school is a very large space. We're talking about 32,000 square metres of area. We used over 15,000 square metres of the product throughout the university. I believe we were one of the first to use the Pietra Savoia in such a large quantity on a floor. All the upper levels, level one up, are laminin, floor and wall and it created just such an amazing backdrop for the colour and the materials and finishes. While we wanted to create a consistency of materiality throughout, we used two different matte and gloss formats that enabled us to create a subtle variation throughout the space. Through the main corridors, we used the matte material and that was really about almost creating a very neutral backdrop, very calm in its approach. And then as you turn the corners towards the entries or, and the windows that lead out to outside, we used the gloss material and that was to amplify and reflect the beautiful landscape surrounding the university, but also to bring natural light deep within to those interiors. We'd analyse lots of different types of floor finishes and we really kept coming back to laminum time and time again. Formats enabled us to span huge 
volumes of space without breaking that down and becoming overly patterned or busy. The tile gave us the ability to create that monolithic seamless look which we really played into how the overall aesthetic came together creating a sense of wellness and um, calmness within the spaces.